Muy buenos días, me encuentro con Andy Skipper. 70 mil toneladas de rock, un crucero que sale de Miami hasta Puerto Plata en República Dominicana y pues nos van a platicar precisamente Andy sobre esta aventura metalera que ya es la duodécima ocasión que se presenta. Andy, nos platicas por favor. So, first of all, thank you very much for having me on uh, Mexico Hello Ed. Right? It's a real pleasure to be here in your beautiful city, you know, and in this beautiful country. You know, actually, Mexico has a very special place in the heart of 70,000 tons of metal because the very, very first 70,000 tons of metal um, in 2011, we sailed to Cozumel in Mexico. And we've been a couple of times back here in Mexico. Um, and uh, we also have a lot of followers, we call them our survivors, you know, on board of uh, 70,000 tons of metal, the original, the world's biggest heavy metal cruise. Mexico is not only the, um, the uh, highest uh, represented Latin American nation on board, okay. but um, it's actually always been in the last few years amongst the top uh, five, six countries on board, you know, so. So, 60 bandas. 60 bands, yeah, 60 bands. And every band plays twice, you know. Okay. Yeah. ¿Cómo será la distribución durante estos días de crucero eh, para que los eh, turistas, metaleros, puedan disfrutar de los conciertos y de la parte turística? Porque pues, también es muy importante este traslado en, en el crucero. Look, 70,000 tons of metal is more than just a heavy metal festival on a cruise ship, you know. It's a whole experience and it's, it's of course, it's vacation too, but not only for the fans, for the bands as well, right? So, and um, because we have a very, very uh, strong uh, repeat followership, you know, about two thirds of our, of our sailors, of our survivors, they come back year after year. That's why we make it always interesting and try to go always to different ports and next ports. But, and as you said before, uh, rightfully next year, In January, we leave on uh, January 29th in Miami, Florida, and um, sailing to a country where we actually have never been before, to uh, Puerto Plata in uh, República Dominicana. Son eh, los finales de enero a los primeros días de febrero, tiempo de invierno para Europa y, y Estados Unidos, clima muy frío. Para México no tanto. ¿Qué tanto eh, turista europeo y americano eh, van al, al crucero y qué tantos mexicanos as, esperan ustedes que puedan asistir en esta experiencia metalera. Look, I mean, of course, for people that live in the northern hemisphere, where it's cold, not only the northern states in the in the in the U.S., also Canada, much of Europe, Scandinavia, overall, this is perfect. You know, it's in the winter; they are fucking freezing cold. You know, like they can go to the Caribbean. You know, and the time is right. You know because um, there is no hurricane season, you know, it's not too hot, you know, because in the summer it's too hot. And um, it's also cool because um, there is not a lot of festivals during this time of the year. All the festivals in Europe, they are usually summer festivals and so, so this is why we do it for what for Europeans and North Americans is the winter time. And you said before, you know, it's, it's a real touristing thing, you know, because we, it's not only a heavy metal festival on a cruise ship, which is touristic enough, but we always go to a nice destination. Um, and there on the land, we, there is uh, shore excursions, you know, and often some of the bands, they join this too. So you can probably go, snorkeling with creator or uh, you can go swimming with stingrays with camelot or whatever you know so and this is something that you cannot have on any other festival and also um, another thing that is really special about 70,000 tons of metal um, everybody on board is the same there is no vip areas there's no backstage areas you know and we really celebrate this um, already um, at the terminal when the people board Everybody, the fan that stays in the smallest cabin on deck two, or the biggest stars that are in their big suites, everybody goes through the same terminal, through the same security, through the same check-in. And then when they go over this gangway on board, something happens in the subconscious, you know. But not only for the fans, also for all the musicians, for all the bands. 
they realize in the true sense of the meaning, what in English we say, we are all in the same boat. And then on board, there is, there is no boundaries, you know. So you probably uh, sit at the same bar or uh, take the same elevators, go to the same restaurants, um, and you have even some musicians that probably sit in the same hot tub together with you. Okay. ¿Me puedes adelantar algunos nombres de las bandas que van a participar en esta ocasión? Y también algo de las experiencias anteriores de 70.000 toneladas de metal. Well, look, um, actually the time here is really right because um, I can't really uh, divulge any secrets yet, but it's tomorrow, tomorrow okay, actually, okay. that we start um, with our initial lineup. And um, also tomorrow we uh, announce already the, day, the, the sales dates for our uh, gold survivors, and then there will be the silver survivors and, uh, and, and public sales later on. Um, it has been a little bit of a staple for 70,000 tons of metal that we drag it out very long with the, the band announcements. And last year was like special because it was really, really late. It was a little bit of an outfall of the, of the uh, pandemic too. Um, but I don't always just want to blame others. You know, there were things that were, are beyond, beyond my control. You know, banks, credit card processes, insurance, everything after COVID, after the pandemic was so much harder and when i announce things i want to make sure it happens you know so last year it came really late but i'll take responsibility for this so you know it'll be tomorrow that we start so it's much much earlier and i will also make sure that a much bigger part of the lineup uh, is already known much earlier than in previous years but seventy thousand tons of metal um has always um so many bands of all the different genres, you know, from classic metal to death metal, from trash metal to folk metal, and from symphonic metal to black metal, and everything else, you know. So it will be a nice mix, and people that have followed 70,000 tons of metal um, over the years, they know. I mean, it'll be a solid lineup. Look at what we had last year with Nightwish and with Creator and with Amorphis and with all the other ones, you know. So I can promise you there'll be some surprises as well. Um, we actually have more than one band next year that will play um, an exclusive um, album live world premiere you know so people will be able to see the band perform their new album before it is released before anybody else can listen to it and another little secret and tomorrow you will know who it is it's actually a latin american band a pretty pretty uh, pretty uh, well-known band that will record a live dvd on board 70,000 tons wow. of metal so people can be in the live dvd and can be part of this but only if they are on 70,000 tons of metal next oh, year. Oh, pues una experiencia maravillosa. Yeah. Um, ¿Cómo se acercan los turistas interesados en participar en, en este crucero? All the, redes sociales? All, all, the new, all the new audience and people that want to know about it and never never know about uh, the cruise and everything. How can, how can be uh, found information. Well, go on the internet. <laughs> okay, um, the, I mean, the first place to go to, because this is also where you can buy the tickets, is uh, 70,000tons.com, our website. So, 70000tons.com, 70,000tons.com. Or you look for 70,000 tons on Facebook, on Instagram, and on all the other social media. We have all, and all the information will be there. But the best place, always go on our website. Um, there is also a field where you can um, add your email address for our newsletter. So you will go all, always there for your information first. And the real hardcore fans. I know it's a little bit a thing of the past, but we still, 70,000 tons, um, still operate our own discussion forum. Okay. Um, the link is also on the website, but it's 70,000tons.com slash forum. And this is where you get the information first, you know, and this is where the real hardcore fans are, you know. A lot of people there, they, they post their wish lists, what bands do they want to see, and uh, there is a lot of sailors from the past, a lot of long time um, 
very, very loyal survivors are on the forum. So you can exchange information, can exchange travel plans, in which hotel you're staying in Miami. There is a lot of pre-parties before in Miami that are organized by the fans, you know. So this is the right place to get in touch with all these people. ¿Vale alguna promoción, alguna preventa, uh, algo para atraer más a, a nuevos turistas? Now this is, I need, you, you see, I understand some Spanish, you know, but like, it's sometimes, sometimes difficult, so I probably need some help here. Uh, that you're going to have an, maybe a promotion or something that had a new fans for, for this cruise? Um, there is not a special promotion for new fans, you know. Um, I, mean, I, I mean, the easiest way, of course, if you know some of the survivors, uh, they can book for you and you stay in the same cabin with them. Otherwise, ones that have the, the, the newbies that have never been on 70,000 tons of metal, they will have to wait for public sales. Okay. But um, the metal scene discusses a lot. A lot of people, I mean, of all, from, from Mexico here and from all over the world, have been on 70,000 tons of metal before. And often they bring actually new people together with them in their cabin, you know. So this is a very good way to get in first too. And I should mention this, um, it's a global affair, you know, it's in the last few years, we always had people from more than 70 different countries on 70,000 yeah. tons of metal. It's actually a funny numbers game, 70 <laughs> nations on 70,000 tons of metal. Um, we call it sometimes the United Nations of heavy metal at okay. sea. And look, this is actually the thing that makes me personally most proud, you know. Like, you have these people from all over the world, you know, different nations, different races, different religions, whatever, different ways of life, different beliefs. And there is people that come from countries that are at war with each other. They all come to the Caribbean for 70,000 tons of metal for the love of heavy metal and enjoy one big party together with all these bands that come also from around the world. So to have this global community, you know, on board, this is one of, one of the things that I really like, yeah, really enjoy most and that, that really makes me proud, you know. Okay. ¿Quieres hacer alguna pregunta? ¿Algo más que quieres agregar? Well, you know, I mean, as I said, you need to check it out, you know, and there is, there is, there is nothing that can compare this and you can see all the videos and you can see the pictures and the stories online and on social media. You have to experience this yourself because as I said, you know, um, it's, it's like if you, ha if you, if somebody tells you of an excellent new food, okay. how good it tastes and whatever, or an excellent new drink, you know, like we're drinking water, you know, but we're working here, you know. You need, to, you need to try it yourself, you need to taste it, because only then you can really fully comprehend what 70,000 tons of metal is and, and, and the enjoyment. And you can see almost two-thirds of our, of our sailors are actually repeat offenders, so people that come again and again. Um, and it makes it addictive, you know? Like, yeah. there, is, there is a lot of people that have been on seven, on eight, on nine, on 10 uh, editions of 70,000 tons of metal. There have been people that have been on every 70,000 tons of metal, you know, which is really, really, um, really, really amazing. And some of these people, they come every year from the other end of the world. They come from Australia every year. It's like, it's, it's in incredible, you know? So yeah, it's a very special, and you'll make friends on 70,000 tons of metal from all over the world, that will be friends for life. I can trust you this much, you know. Pues muchas gracias, estaremos muy pendientes de los anuncios a partir de mañana, del line-up que, que se va a empezar a anunciar y pues muy de cerca también en todas las páginas para 70 mil toneladas de metal. Este crucero que pues no tiene desperdicio, saldrá de Miami, Florida con rumbo a, a República Dominicana y bueno pues para, pasa por siete países que pues seguramente será una experiencia inolvidable para todos los metaleros y amantes de los diferentes géneros de esta música. Muchas gracias. Guys, this is Andy, your skipper from 70,000 Tons of Metal, and it would be my real humble pleasure to welcome you next year, in January 29th, in Miami, Florida, when we set sail for 70,000 Tons of Metal, the original, the world's biggest heavy metal cruise. 
and we are not coming back to the real world until February 2nd next year. So I hope to see you there. Yeah!